Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this first video of the Sketch for Beginners video series. In this video series, we will be talking about all the different things that you need to know to, to start designing in Sketch and to become a designer. In several videos, I will explain different features and different things that are relevant for your design process when you want to uh, design in Sketch. And in this first video, we are going to take a look at the interface of Sketch. Now Sketch has a dark and a a light version so if you uh, prefer the dark version like me you can just switch that in your Mac OS settings and uh, then you get this screen right here and uh, you see that we have some elements at the top in this top row right here we have some things on the left side and we have a navigation part on the right side and these are the most necessary things that you need in sketch so at the top you have your toolbar and it contains basically all uh, the different things that you can insert by default uh, the data that you can add uh, and we will talk about those things later on and it contains also things like the zoom level that we are working with uh, then you can group certain elements and ungroup them as well it will be relevant for the layers that we will be talking about in a second and then we have uh, a few options that we can use to uh, customize a certain element um, we can even uh, work with vector graphics and uh, this panel right here these few options are relevant for that and we can customize our interface. We can show rulers, which is pretty helpful because you can create new rulers and uh, check the alignment and so on. And you can, uh, of course, work with grids, layouts and so on. We can even work with a cloud and so on, but these are more advanced features and I will talk about them in an upcoming video. You can even customize your toolbar by going to view, customize toolbar. Then you see that those elements are wobbling around and you can drag and drop uh, new elements like for example a new artboard to your uh, toolbar. You can add a spacing between them uh, or a flexible space even and uh, some other options. So it's pretty awesome that you can customize the whole interface so that it fits your process even better. Now on the left side you see that we have a panel right here and it's called the layer list. The layer list is probably the most uh, used interface element in Sketch because it contains all your artboards, which are basically your screens when designing something. Uh, it will contain uh, all your buttons, your texts, your um, images, basically anything that you want to work with. And uh, I selected an a icon right here and this icon has is an artboard, which is the space that we will be working with. Then we have a few layers right here. For example, a smooth corner layer that is uh, like giving us the effect of smooth and uh, rounded corners. We have a few groups right here uh, that you can create with the features from our toolbar. And it has a couple of glyphs like groups, like a uh, icon um, right here. So. Groups contain different groups or contain a few layers like these vector graphics and it also has a background. So this is usually like the normal uh, structure of a group or of an artboard. Uh, it has a background and it has a few elements and uh, a few groups that we will work with. Now on the right side we have our inspector and the inspector is helping us to do things with the layers that we have. Uh, so if I select one of the layers in the layer panel, for example one of those parts, uh, it's the, um, the triangle right here, the white one. Um, if I select that, I can see that I get a couple of values right here. Those values are the position of my layer and the amount of our turning degree right here. It also uh, tells us about the width and the height of my layer that I can change as well and it's uh, giving me options to resize it. This will be uh, a topic of an upcoming video as well. Um, and then we come to things like the opacity. You can set different blending modes that you are probably used to from Photoshop uh, and you can set the opacity to a certain percent um, as you want it. Then we have style. Now style is here 
to help us uh, style and uh, customize our layer. And I have a basic layer, a basic uh, color selected for my layer. I can add another color, a gradient for example, or a normal color. Um, I can even do things like patterns and stuff like that and also get rid of the opacity or intensity. Um, and I can do all kinds of stuff with this one. I can even add a border to it. So if you want to work with borders, you can make an inside or outside border, give it a certain color, increase the width or the, the size of the border actually and that helps you to customize your element. Now you can even work with shadows, inner shadows and different kind of blurs. We have the normal blur, we have a background blur. To see the background blur, you need to make sure that the opacity of your fill color is not at 100% and you can um, then set the amount for the background blur. A couple of plugins that we will be talking about in an upcoming video will also be in here and one of the like most necessary things that you need to know is once you select a artboard like one of those right here once you select them it changes a little bit you get a preview of your uh, artboard and you get an option to export your artboard which is pretty amazing and pretty necessary if you want to give it to someone or if you want to uh, po post it on twitter or so and you can also sele select and set the presets for the export. Now you learned a couple of things about the interface, but I want to do a second video in which I will be solely talking about the layer list. The layer list isn't something that you should just skip because it has a couple of cool features and things that I want to discuss in the next video. So check that out as well if you want to know more about the layer list and the possibilities that you have. And I hope this video gave you a quick first look into Sketch and the interface of Sketch. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day. Bye.